Hi, this is Paresh and I play guitar for Hypnotribe. Hi, I'm Naresh and I play the bass. Hi, I'm Abhijit, I play keyboards. Hi, I'm Kurt on the drums. Hi, I'm Sanket, I play percussions. I'm Shanks, I play violin, guitar and flute. Hi, we are Hypnotribe. Watch us on Thank God It's Rock on Friday. I think the first uh, show that Hypnotype did, we probably had like around 15 people in the audience. So it wasn't too flattering, but then, you know, that's how a band would first start out, you know, not expecting too many people in the audience. And even out of those 15 people, I think 10 of those were people that we knew. So <laughs> it was, uh, but it was fun, you know, I mean, like we had all these songs, we, you know, we were a fresh new band with a whole new sound. So and more than anything else, basically, we wanted to be there on stage and perform that stuff. And it didn't matter if there was one or a thousand people, you know. I mean, thousands better, but even if it was one, we'd be having fun. So we ended up playing that gig and it was good. It gave us a nice boost and we even recorded the, uh, the show, not on video, I think on audio. And then we heard it after the gig and all of us sitting down, like, you know, catching each one, whoever made a mistake, or, you know, all that stuff. So it just like kind of uh, got the band closer together too. And uh, it was nice. It was a good start, an auspicious start for us. <laughs> My experience with Hypnotribe has been different from any experience I've had with another band, largely because of the process. We play with another bigger band, uh, Elasa, and uh, to actually play with the same lineup on uh, you know, two very different uh, stages. I don't think I've had that experience before. The songwriting has actually been a lot of fun. We've all brought in our own you know, elements. It's been very organic. I said now, baby. My experience with the band especially, it taught me a lot because uh, earlier I was just a tabla player. I was playing tabla a lot with different different bands. But uh, since we play with different, we play different genres of music, it gave me to experiment more with a lot of percussions. So I was not used to play with uh, these kind of genres before. But I got some guidance from Paresh, Naresh, Shanks and all the band members and now I could play around with other percussions like uh, African percussion, djembe, the Middle East and Verbuka. I tried some things. So mainly I play tabla but I started trying these percussions because of the band. So it was the best experience that I could uh, get experimental with my playing. My uh, experience with, with Hypnotribe uh, has been uh, a good one because everyone uh, generally around here is um, they don't take themselves like too seriously and uh, things are like really very uh, relaxed and therefore like when we are playing music and uh, um, I would say uh, musically in your face and people are not stepping on each other's toes and stuff like that so that's uh, that's one of the good uh,
brand came about in I think 2008 and it was the beginning of the year and uh, the reason it came about is because uh, a whole bunch of us were already playing in Kailasa. With that band we were doing a whole lot of music that was uh, you know particularly one style of music I'd all say and uh, we've realized that you know there's all this other music that we love and uh, you know want to play that kind of music live and we weren't getting an opportunity to do so so that's when the idea for the band came about and then uh, once decided that we we're going to start this other band, uh, then it was uh, time to think of a name. You know, even before we wrote any music, I thought, uh, let me think of a good name and let's see if that inspires us to write some music, you know. So, uh, I think I like, racked my head and I came up with uh, three options and I presented it to guys. And one of them was Hypnotribe, the other one was Ape Hero, and one of them was Vibe Elevator. And I think uh, unanimously everybody thought Hypnotribe would be the name. I can't really pinpoint one memorable moment or anything, you know, there's so many good moments that we've had and it's tough to actually pin pick one out of all of that, so, uh, you know, I mean, the ones that really stay in your mind is uh, when someone, like, you know, goofs up or, you know, someone messes up on stage or something, you know, those are the things that kind of stick with us because uh, we're just like that. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think one uh, moment there that I'm not really gonna forget which was uh, when we finished our first show uh, we played the last song it was a very first show and uh, you know we, we really didn't know if this was gonna work and uh, we went backstage and actually Paresh said uh, this is working yeah this is so this is working and I you know I think I think I'll I think I'll remember that because that was a sort of wow wow moment you know for me yeah yeah sure days, throw up my hands no demands can take no these days there's no no kissing, no loving, no public hugging These days I'm bruised and so I'ma open that door and break away The place at which we go in We show no sign of slowing Once we were playing at the Blue Frog and uh, there is a small green room and next to it my setup was there and since the stage was very small I was not setting up the dole because there was no place for that and I had told my assistant to give me the dole when the part comes basically and he went to sleep <laughs> and I, I was screaming and just before the part came I was screaming like Sandeep Sandeep wake up wake up and suddenly I don't know what happened he heard me in that loud music and he ran with the doll to me and he was just holding like that and then I started playing and it was like very I was a little tense that I might not be able to play the part but it happened so that was the funniest and the most memorable uh, incident for me. Um, one memorable moment with the band uh, would be at uh, the Kaira Theatre in Bangalore where we were uh, doing a gig and uh, um, some uh, like me and a couple of the guys in the band we like to smoke cigarettes and stuff um, so we went out for a smoke and uh, without actually putting the cigarette out properly we went back in for sound check and like Another like 10 minutes uh, later, we uh, could just uh, just smell this burning like fumes and ashes all around the place and we were wondering like where it could come and c where it was coming from and stuff. Later we realized it was actually us who started the, the fire that could have almost burned the, burnt the place down. So yeah, that was one of the memorable moments with Hypnotribe. Dark and 
Yeah, we've had some crazy moments with Hypno Tribe uh, since the inception of the band till now. But uh, offhand, I can just think of this one. It was really funny. We were in Kathmandu, and we were playing there for the first time. It was a huge audience. It was about thirty-five thousand people, and you know. I've uh, with Hypno Tribe we've never played to more than you know 1000 2000 people basically in clubs and uh, gigs that but this is the first time so uh, you know we were really charged and we played our first song and the audience was just going crazy and they were all screaming and stuff and uh, you know we that really gave us a lot of uh, there was it felt good you know so and we thought like man this is superb and then we started like you know saying things to get the crowd cheer uh, you know cheer, uh, like even uh, more into it and stuff like that so and uh, we thought like wow this is really working until a few stones came on stage and that's when we realized that these guys hate us and uh, we got to do something quick to change the situation and, uh, <laughs> and i guess it wouldn't have been memorable if uh, we didn't manage to change the situation but we did and we played the rest of our songs and by the by the end of it uh, a lot of people were like you know with it and they liked it and you know we got a lot of people coming up after we played and saying man that was superb and You know, so in the end, we did feel good about that week. So that was my memorable moment. The music of Hypno Tribe is uh, it's like a, it's an amalgamation and, and mix of so many different uh, influences as far as you know music goes uh, because everyone comes from different backgrounds we have like uh, a tabla and percussion player Sanket who comes from uh, you know the classical background and the folk and all that so he gets all that into it uh, uh, Shanky uh, guitar and violin player he comes from uh, Bangalore and you know He's had like different influences as far as uh, music goes, with a little of Carnatic and you know, uh, just a whole bunch of uh, things from that side of the world. So uh, you know, we've all gotten that together and uh, fused everything together. So in the end, we can't really say that our music is a certain style. You know, it's uh, it's a mixture of everything, and it's like one bhel puri. <laughs> and so uh, uh, whatever comes out, we call it hypno tribe. Um, I like to say funk fusion tribal psychedelic would be adjectives that could describe the genre of, of our band. Rhythm is huge. If it's not moving you, if it's not making you dance, then we scrap it. I mean, uh, we, we do we do have some rock ballads as well. Uh, we have we have a rock ballad and um, we have. Uh, progressive sort of electronica influenced tracks which are also tribal because of their ethnicity because of the percussions that we use the few of the melodies that we use as well and then we've got hardcore rock songs we've got like i would say funk rock songs and we've got rap so i mean there's a lot of different musical influences that we're trying to intertwine and weave you know together in each uh track that we play and uh, so yeah it is you will hear a lot of genres but if i were to describe it i would use those four words yeah so in the case of uh, <laughs> hypno tribe uh, the music is uh, much more layered and uh, more uh, deeper in in terms of uh, dynamics and uh, composition it's more than a pain i'm sick slave oh let's that street still on my mind oh what till your red face come on
I don't know if this would be so much of a crowd favorite, but uh, as far as uh, our music goes, uh, I really like to perform uh, this one track called uh, Jungle Road, and uh, that's really good fun. I think everyone in the band really has a good time with it, and something that kind of like lifts my spirits when I'm playing it on stage. So uh, that would be a, definitely a favorite of mine. Let's push this thing a step up. Let's shift the one more gear up. Uh, I've got to say, uh, like Naresh did, uh, Jungle Road. Uh, right now, because of the way it's actually shaping, uh, from from what it was when it when when we wrote it first to what it's actually become now, I think I think uh, I think right now that's. My favorite song. I mean, it keeps changing. When we began, it was dark and delicious. For a long time, it used to be uh, Hunter. Uh, but at the moment, I'm. It was Moonshima Bay for a little while as well. When I was, I was going through a different musical phase. But right now, it's Jungle Road. Again, my favorite song is uh, now Jungle Road. And uh, since the beginning, it was my favorite song because it's. Uh, I play a very uh, critical part. I, I'm using two, three percussions at the same time, and to to make a pattern out of it. And today, from today's gig, I, for the first time, I'm going to use my loop station for that, and I'm very excited about that. So that song is my favorite because I get more experimental in that. <laughs> My favorite song would be uh, for sure Dark and Delicious. It's a song uh, like uh, that we had written earlier, much earlier in uh, uh, throughout the process of uh, writing the whole album. Um, I like it because it uh, I feel it sums up uh, the whole band and uh, as as far as uh, the character of the band and uh, where we like where we would uh, like uh, the music uh, to be heading. Taught to the little details. These days, a man's got to know to take it on the chip with that concern. That's a really tough one. I mean, what would someone be, you know, I mean, like, what would someone look up to Hypnotype for uh, or any other band? Uh, well, I would say one thing, I mean, there's a lot of music in there. There's so many different styles of music, so many different genres of music, and everything is smoothly being played in like one outfit. So that is something definitely that, you know, other musicians, other bands could look at and say, wow, you know, we could use so many different things and still make it work in, uh, uh, you know, contemporary musical uh, genre concept, basically. One advice or, I mean, any kind of suggestion that I could give any other upcoming rock band would be uh, that, you know, in, in a band concept, you should, uh, I mean, I'm sure you're all friends and stuff like that, and that's cool. But you got to respect the other person that's there in the band, you know, don't take them for granted. So if you do that, then I think, you know, the band can go places. I'm going to take you there just to get now. Brace yourself for my force to severe when the bass line kicks. My mind starts to twitch. Let us some open that stretch as I stick together. A commentary rough and durable with an F. You like me like fireworks City dweller, the seats is where I learned And I don't sweat the limelight like the folks know I'm tight The sucker rappers need to rhyme right So you can call me the equalizer With my alias speech, you'll all know I'm wiser Some of these are fads and that's a drive But I'm genuine, hypno tribe is a b-boy mastermind I think the strength of a band is that uh, we get along as people We also uh, realize the potential of each other's uh, strengths and 
know each other's weaknesses pretty well as well, you know. And um, we're pretty um, natural with each other. These two areas, the strengths and the weaknesses, and I think uh, when that actually comes together as a music writing and playing process, there's a lot of dynamics, you know, there's, there's a lot of dynamism that is natural to the band because of the way we react to each other. Yeah. The strength of Hypno Tribe is, uh, it's not, we are not sticking to one genre of music and for the audience, if like they don't know about the band, if anyone doesn't know about the band and they are coming to see us, it's like a magic box because you don't know what's coming up next. Like uh, sometimes I go for some uh, to see some performances. Uh, mainly they are playing jazz, so it's a jazz band or a blues band or uh, a fusion band. So they are playing kind of a genre and they are sticking to that. But for us, like we are experimenting with different genres and audience will, like they are totally surprised after the gig and they are like, oh, we get everything in one box and it's like a magic box. So for me, it's. I define as a magic box. Is actually it's people and uh, I think uh, what you need in a band more than anything else you know you don't really need uh, people to be like great musicians or uh, you know or good looking or you know fat or thin or whatever you know it, it just it's just the people in the band and uh, that's what makes a band tick you know like I've been in a lot of bands where you know musically it might have been like really cool and you know might have had a lot of potential but eventually they didn't work out because uh, it's you know it's just a basic thing you know as people you got to get along and you got to like each other and you got to respect each other well i guess so uh, i i guess it would put it, i would put it down to the people in the band they're all uh, really, really nice people they're all gentlemen and uh, yeah As a musician, as a parent, as a husband, and you know, where maybe a lot of role playing is involved, Hypnotribe for me is a place where I can be me. For me, Hypnotribe is a magic box because it's unpredictable for audience and different genres we play on stage. And, you know, that's all. Basically, Hypnotribe for me is something where I have my emotional release <coughs> and uh, so that balances me out as a person as, as a musician. So. I need my hypno tribe like I need my cup of coffee in the morning. Hypno tribe, you know, for me is like an idea that keeps changing. You know? It's 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 I'm looking you know forward to a certain song, looking forward to a certain space. <coughs> so it keeps changing. I can't I can't actually say hypno tribe is for me this because for me you know, today hypno tribe was jungle day. You know tomorrow will be something else. We have a great time on stage and yeah. who doesn't like to be in a situation like that? And we come and put all our musical abilities together and create like a platform.